So hi, my name is Marit, and I'm a co-founder of a company called Rendra. And I'm here today to talk about something I'm genuinely passionate about, which is the construction industry. Why? It's because Rendra has managed to solve one of the major problems this industry is facing. And that is, how do you make a digital 3D model available where it matters the most out of the construction site? And this might sound like a trivial problem to you, distributing a 3D model, but in fact, it's quite complicated because this 3D model contains all the information you need in order to build the building. And that's a huge amount of data, so the model tends to grow and grow in, si grow in size, and then you end up with a several gigabyte large 3D model. And for those of you who are not into computer graphics, I can assure you, in order to visualize a large 3D model, you would need a very big and juicy computer. And for this guy, this engineer in the office, that's okay. He can have that in his office. But these guys out on site doing the heavy lifting, they can't. So the problem is that all this relevant information stays in the office and is not distributed out to those who need it. But buildings are being built today, so how does it work today? They must get some kind of information out. Well, actually, they don't, at least not in a good way. While the engineers and architects in the office have all kinds of tools and technologies, these guys doing the actual work still rely on pen and paper. In fact, all the information they get comes on a piece of paper. So just imagine that. And that results in complex, uh, non-efficient, and time-consuming workflows. And when you look at these pictures, it is not hard to believe that the construction industry has experienced a steady decline in productivity over the last 40 years. And in fact, so much as 30% of the total cost in a construction project is lost due to errors, delays, and simply pe people waiting. And that's because they don't get the information they need where they are when they need it. And that's what Renra is solving. So, I would like you to introduce you to Rendra O. We have done what thought to be impossible, and that is to develop a technology that is able to stream really large 3D models to any device in real time. So, those days when you had to worry about hardware capacity are gone. And on top of that technology, we've built a beautiful interface with the functionality the user needs. So now, the guys on site, all they have to do is take up their iPad and they have access to everything they need. And that's powerful. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Rendro uh, makes these guys more efficient and better at their job. And the best thing, they love it. It's actually adopted. Like this guy, Helge, he thinks is the best thing that has happened since Commodore 64, a tool for the construction industry. And it makes him better at his job. For instance, Helge had a situation that occurred 10, ten times per week. It's not important what it was, but before, he used 45 minutes to complete it. Now he uses five. And it's not only Helge, it's his entire team. So he's part of a big team, but there were 15 people with different kinds of responsibility who had access to our tool. And our studies show that these people saved 200 hours per month. That's five weeks worth of work in one month. And not only are these 200 hours, these are 200 frustrating hours that they used to spend on inefficient workflows. But now they can actually put this time into value-adding activities, such as constructing. So Helge and his team are much more likely to deliver the project on time and on budget. So you might think these are our customers. In fact, it's not. It's even better. These are the guys who were willing to pay us large amounts of money just so we could develop our product. They saw the potential in it, and they wanted to join in. And not only did they give us money, they gave us access to construction sites, to people, to knowledge. They have helped us build the product that we have today. And the good thing is that these problems happen all over the world. We have been contacted by people from different, from different countries requesting a demo, wanting to learn more about Rendra O. So we have completed two pilot projects here in Norway. The third one is still running. But when we have commercially launched in our home market in Norway, there is nothing stopping us from conquering one construction site after another all over the world. 
Thank you. Yeah, really amazing uh, product. But uh, what is the plan for the next couple of years? Well, the focus this year will be to standardize on a delivery line in our home market here in Norway. So you're very close with signing with our first commercial customer. That's a project that starts in May. And this year, we will try to get 11 projects in Norway and really be able to deliver on these projects and for us as an organization, standardize on a delivery line. And then uh, it's just to grow internationally. Uh, what does the competitive landscape uh, look like here? There's nothing? Or? Oh, there's a million tons of solutions trying to tap into the, uh, to the construction market, but the problem is nothing works. Because an iPad chokes at the side of a 200 megabyte model, and these, the one I showed, we had a, in one of our pilot projects, the model was 8 gigabytes. So you cannot get it out in any efficient way. So there's a lot of solutions trying, and then none are really optimized to handle such, uh, such big amounts of data, and also user interfaces on other are not very optimized. Um, yeah, it's hard to think of questions about construction for me, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this, a, I guess you have to be online to use this. Yeah, uh, you have to. Right. Is, that, is that a problem for you guys? Actually, it has turned out that is not a problem. You can just do on a regular mobile connection or a regular Wi-Fi, and we experienced very, very little problems with it, hardly any. Okay. But you have to have a Wi-Fi or a 3G connection. Questions from the audience, yes. How do you do it in practice? So how does it work? Oh, that's the secret sauce that I can't tell you. <laughs> but the concept is that instead of having this big computer where you are, you move it to the cloud and it's just streamed. So it's just streaming of 3D, uh, like you stream movies or sounds or anything. It's just that 3D is a little bit harder. Uh, what is the average deal size and how big you think this business can become? Well, uh, actually these problems that I mentioned, it happens on every major construction site all over. But for us uh, to be able to deliver on a project, you are dependent on the people having made a 3D model, which normally they do. But uh, it's huge. The, uh, those, uh, the market for providing the software making 3D models are huge, so then to distribute them, it would be uh, the same. So but I don't have any specific numbers. Okay, later. One question for me. Um, the BIM and the technology, is that a global trend, or is it the Scandinavian happening? No, or? it's not at all. Uh, it's. Uh, uh, the trend of using so detailed 3D models, it's uh, happening all over the world, and there, but there are very uh, powerful in, uh, or driving forces are strong in uh, Scandinavia, the UK, the United States, and Finland, and some of the Asian countries. Thank you. Question here? Yeah. And it, it seems like really powerful technology for much more than just the construction industry. Have you thought about other uses? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, actually, the first, uh, when we had this technology, the first uh, industry we looked into was the oil and gas industry because they process huge amounts of 3D data for the reservoirs. But we actually found the construction industry to be a much more low-hanging fruit and a much more immediate need because it's pen and paper. They need something now. And people were actually willing to pay us just to join in on the development. And we feel like we're solving a real problem for them as well, so it feels uh, meaningful to do it. Okay, thank you. I know that uh, you once said that uh, this is a badass product. Yeah. Uh, I think <laughs> we believe you, and you believe in it. We, um, have a demo, we have an iPad here if anybody wants to look at it afterwards. Yeah. Please give a big hand to Marit and uh, Rembrandt. <laughs>